Let's talk about the upcoming election really quickly because Republicans haven't won a U.S. Senate seat or election in New Jersey since 1972. What do you think can make that flip? Well, it's very simple. New Jersey's New Jersey residents are looking for a leader who understands them. They're looking for a leader who's going to work hard, who's going to go down to D.C. and fix their problems, advocate on their behalf. And it's easy to say that you're going to do that, but so many elected officials go down there and get sucked into the swamp and you have to fight that. And I think that if you're always thinking about people first, that becomes an easy way to fight that. I have been doing that for most of my life. And I understand the pain that people are going through. My family has been through it before. I started out, my first career, I was a chef. Most of the elected officials we see, they've never had real jobs. Even Senator Menendez, he says himself, he's been in politics for 50 years. How could he possibly understand what people are going through? People connect with me and I connect with them. That's what a leader is going to do for New Jersey. That's what they need. That's what I'm gonna to continue to fight for. After Senator Menendez was acquitted on some charges and others were dismissed back, dismissed back in 2018, he won the reelection pretty handily by 54%. So what do you think is going to be different this time, if anything at all? I think everything's different. I think the economy is different. I think what people are facing is different. And I think people are getting a little bit tired of the decisions that have been made down in DC. It's gone too far for many people. People are looking for more moderation and they've pushed things too fast. It impacts everybody. It certainly impacts folks here. So they're looking for some new leaders. They're looking for people who want to work hard, understand where they're coming from and are smart about solutions. That's what I offer. I have a reputation of delivery and that's what people need. So when it comes to this election, people are going to be looking for a new answer, not just the same old elected officials that have been in for a very long time. What specifically is that new answer? What can you say to people? Um, hey, I know you're feeling pain at the pump. I know it, you, groceries are really squeezing your wallet. Here's exactly what I can do to help you lower those prices and feel that economic relief. It's very, very simple. We have to curb the spending down in DC. It is out of control. And then the other thing we need to do is energy, right? We need a better energy solution, all of the above, to basically cut out. And that was the first thing that really impacted our economy was when Biden came in and that first week, he cut off the pipeline. How many people lost jobs that instantly started impacting the economy? These are the things that we have to stop doing. We have to stop cutting ourselves off at the knees and not allowing job growth to take place over regulation is killing businesses. All of this needs to take place and needs to happen now before things get any worse. Some of the, the, the decisions that they've put in place are going to have very long-term effects. Right now, people are suffering because of this economy. But people forget that the 2017 tax cuts, they sunset in 2025. But guess what? They're starting to sunset this fall. What's going to happen to all of the small businesses that have benefited from those tax cuts? There's no end in sight. And so that is what I am suggesting. Then we're gonna to have to talk about the border. This open border is not working for anyone. And you're having Democrat mayors come out and say, we've got to do something. It is not a solution to just let tens of thousands of people come in every week with no answer for how they're going to be taken care of. This country is already struggling itself. We can't continue to take care of everybody. There are many solutions that I have in mind, but that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna start with the economy and we're gonna start with the spending down in DC.